So it's just like, um, I don't know, like a collection of fruit sugars agglomerated in a specific way. Yeah, it's called a mango. It tastes like it was handcrafted by God themselves. This time, I guess I'll be like a, a wrinkled pianist. Oh, I get it. It's like it's some kind of like potato starch deep fried in oil. I, I roll these. I'm happy I did. Bacon. Some kind of bread disc. Oh, with like a. I get it. So it, it's like a. It's like a tomato puree on top of like a circle of bread. So it's kind of like what if a CD had a kid with shakshuka? I get the picture. Okay, how about, how about we do exactly the same thing, even though it didn't work for us in the early game last time, but it does give us a level. Then you get your clownfish. Then you sell your mouse. Then you... Buff me, buff me, buy a penguin, buff a unit that's not a possum. Thank, that's, they couldn't have gone better. Roll me once, sell me, mostly just because I don't want you to inherit any more buffs, and then run a bat at the back. We're looking for like a clownfish, or sorry, a blobfish. A blobfish would hit the spot here. It's the saddest draw of my whole life. It's okay, though. Why don't you stick around with the croissant? I know, it's a little strange. But we live in a strange world these days. <clears throat> it's another very sad loss. We should move the bat to the back. I don't know if that would have made a difference, but... Tier three shop with no tier threes. It's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting setup you got there. I would roll a blobfish. Now, now you have my attention. Something like this. Do we want a tier three? I mean, lettuce buffs one unit right now. No, it buffs two units. Okay, I would take that. That's a, a targeted salad. I really make fun of NL for order, but I'm too lazy to fix it in my own runs. I think there's just, and and I mean, I, I say this with, with sympathy, as long as you're not empty the cup. The human brain is just not very good, in my opinion. Like it's so, it loves finding flaws in, other people's behavior and hates finding them in itself. Like you ever notice how many excuses you make for myself? Oh, I shouldn't eat this. Oh, but I had a bad day. Oh, but I deserve it. Oh, but I was healthy for breakfast. Oh, but I took a walk at lunch. Yeah, I'm, yeah but I'm not hungry. Yeah, but it would be fun to eat it. Or like you'll be like, you'll snap at somebody. Like you'll, you'll be needlessly short-sighted and rude. And then in your head, you're like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I feel bad. And then you're like, no, but everybody can have a bad day now and then. I've had a bad day. I slipped up a little bit. It happens to everybody. If someone does it to you, you're like, wow, why are you an asshole 100% of the time? The human brain, it treats itself so much better than it treats other people. And it should treat ourselves a lot worse, is what I'm trying to argue. Because we should have a little bit more control over our own behavior. Whether or not it gives concessions to other people, I'm not really that interested in. But it should definitely be harder on us. Isn't that just depression? No, that's just normal. That's just the normal human brain. People think that, like, wait, I mean, listen, editor's note, n.b, I am not a psychiatrist. People think that like depressed brain is like 
introspection, anything that shows any level of self-reflection. And if your brain was just like not depressed, you'd be living like one of those Web3 founders who has like complete unbridled confidence in themselves. No, it's like the, the thing that you think is the depression is actually the normal thing that everybody goes through. And they go, they outwardly appear to have like a great day at work and then they go home and they're like, why did I, why did I choose that word in that meeting? I'm so fucking stupid. And then the Web3 people who are like, yeah, I think that this NFT is worth like $500,000 and they never have a, a moment of doubt. They're the crazy people. They're, they're manic. We've got the baseline set at the, at the wrong thing. Those people are the ones that are delusional. I'm not saying depression doesn't exist. Like, that's just crazy. I haven't been streaming long enough to fall into that pit yet. I'm merely saying some level of, of self-awareness and, and introspection is, is very good for you. It would be kind of sick if Web3 solved depression. I don't know. I'm like 50-50 on whether it'll do that, though. Anyway, Billy Billy XP, XP thanks for the free win. I did see a take that was, um, my most insane take is that if you just hold in diarrhea for a couple hours, it'll crystallize into normal poop. I, I semi-believe that. I, because it kind that's sort of how it works, right? The longer the poop stays in, the more water gets absorbed from it. But I don't know if it works that way once it's at the aperture. Like, I think it's got to actually work its way through the colon in order to get, have that happen. I don't think it actually it works like that. That being said, if I had to say what's the, what's the most insane take that I believe is true, I actually, I think like, and I'm not saying I'm very smart. Maybe just in the top 0.1%, but not like the 0.001%, 01, 001%. I think if you're like really stupid, life is like hard. And I think if you're, like, insanely smart, it's hard. But I think just being, like, a little stupider than average, like, just stupid enough to have limited self-awareness of how dumb you are would be... <laughs> would be... You would feel amazing. Let me put it that way. That's my, that's my personal delusion, is that you would feel amazing. Your behavior would probably lead smart people to be like, wow, that person's really stupid. But in your head, you would be like, I'm a genius. Why isn't anybody as smart as I am? That's the dream, man. Anyway. Did you see the tweet where the lady said, once you realize alcohol is a lie... Life gets so much better. And then Elon Musk replied, I don't like the taste or effects of most alcohol, but there's something special about red wine in a fine glass. I'm sorry. I'm just, let's move on. I don't know what I'm doing on this run anymore. <laughs> anymore. <laughs> something, something special about it. red wine in a fine glass. Oh, he's not wrong, I suppose. He's not wrong. Oh, you piece of junk. Never mind, am I okay? Oh, I'm loving it. It's just got me laughing, because, like, uh... Well, I, I mean, this is the stolen tweet, because the tweet that I saw was a quote tweet that said... Web3 20-something woman, I don't like alcohol. Elon Musk, have you heard of red wine in a glass? But I, I don't think it's like, I don't think it's cherry picking. Like, that's literally what just happened. This one's rough, man. Because I feel like the, the, the current r setup we have is great and it has no future potential. So we really got to win this round. Jim Morrison voice. Web3 woman.
Okay, take it. And then, you know what? If there was ever a time that like a gorilla could do something, it might be now when it could become a level two and get a big buff. This is not a normal, it's not a normal circumstance here. I think you definitely keep the bat. The penguin is going to outscale the beetle soon and it has upside on, on its level, I suppose, coming soon too. So you get rid of the beetle. Run this instead. Why don't you take this as well? I mean, another one of those might hit this. Although we have chocolate coming. Chocolate's pretty important for us too. Eh, I'd freeze it anyway. At least we have four life. Bat me? Not the best payout on the bat. I did not live. Okay, so that listen, don't judge that. Don't judge me by my worst result. Judge me by my best result. I'll judge you by your worst result. This is what we wanted to see. You're now going to be a 1511. It's the the real problem is that I can't sell you. And that's that's a bit of a nightmare. But what we could do, we could sell the clownfish. Although it does take away a nice uh does take away that buff. I think we have to I think we have to wait and if we have to wait we might as well can cuz we know a pivot's coming at some point. Early bird of paradise. Yeah, but the bird of paradise is like I don't know. I'm not just saying this cuz I passed it up, but I feel like it's one of those things where as soon as you take it, you're like, "Yeah, I don't have fun when I play games. That's the most fun thing for me." You know what's really fun is beating Billy Billy XD. NL, why is the sauce in Chinese takeout so watered down these days? You talking about the plum sauce that comes for the egg rolls, or are you talking about the sauce in the dish? The curry? In the dish? Okay, the, I mean... You got to go to a better restaurant. Then you got to order from a better restaurant. I hate to say it. Like I could buy the idea that the plum sauce has gotten 10% 10, 10 more watered down because the wings facility or whoever makes it is like, oh, inflation's hitting us hard. So we're just going to put more water in it. But if the restaurant's doing that, I get that their cost has come up, but you got to keep the quality of food there as well. It's not a national issue. I don't know. It could be. If you live in a place that has National Chinese Food Day, <laughs> I don't know. Bat me? Oh, yeah, absolutely, gorilla me. Absolutely. Lettuce me? Not so much. I'm going to say not so much on that one. I will say I think Chinese food is... My favorite genre of cuisine that I don't eat as much as I wish that I ate. I probably order delivery Chinese food like once a year. And I would like to order it like once a month. Lemon's really good. What's your go-to when ordering? I like a scumbag combo. What is a scumbag combo? Like, you know, the cheapest thing that they have that has an egg roll, fried rice, and some kind of, like, sauced up deep fried meat in it. Like, I'm not, I'm not flipping past the first page of the menu that has, like, for some reason, it's got like seven combination plates that have letters, and then it has ten combination plates that have numbers, but like you can't figure out what the delineation is between the letters and the numbers. I don't flip to the part where it's like, you know, king sea crab or something like that. I'm like, give me fried uh, pork with corn syrup on top of it. But I will, I'll spring for... The fried rice. I think it's definitely worth paying a little premium to get the fried rice over the steamed rice. There's nothing wrong with the steamed rice, but I would, I would spring for the fried rice for sure. Let's try this on you. I'm still mighty skeptical we're getting the 
to 10, but we're having fun on the way at least. Oh my god, our penguin traded with their best unit. Oh, please. I'm not going to make it. I'm going to make it. There was a catfish in there. Oh. Was there? I'm going to go a little crazy mode with this. I'm going to I'm going to level the clownfish first. There is a catfish. You're right. The problem is, what the hell do you get rid of? To make this happen because like it is it's one gold for four two every turn which is good but i'm not i'm not selling the bat man the bats the bats doing incredible stuff for us i honestly i hate to say it i think it's just a situation where you let it ride i and i i mean that's gonna determine whether we make it or don't make it on this one but i think on this one we stay the course And it is kind of a race against time, but good to see Turkey fly still the meta. Not the meta. It's not the meta. I'm not saying it can't do some stuff, but it, I don't think this week it's the meta. I mean, a stake is hard to argue with. Maybe we could run something like this instead. Okay, I, I, you know what, I would rather, chocolate's more important to me, I think, than a carrot at this stage of the game. A lemon on the, on the clownfish, maybe? Blobfish possibly getting a level at some point, gorilla getting a level, okay, okay. Okay, maybe it is the meta. We're about to find out if it's the meta. I think we're gonna find out that it's the meta. Where's my Billy Billy, man? Still a nice buff. One of those, one of these. Still want you at the front? Yeah, 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 okay. There's a shot. One more EXP on the gorilla would go hard. That's important. The, the order couldn't have been better. We still probably lose, right? We still definitely lose. But the, still, the order was very nice for us there, at least. Okay, this is... I mean, of course this is what it's all about right here. We need... If we have to buy that, that's a nice consolation prize. We'd love to get a gorilla one more XP, but that's not going to happen. Okay. Come back to sap, and now there's avocados and taco salads. Dude, it's... I, I forgot to mention, I think. I tweeted it to Dan, though. I went to, uh, to taco time. Oh, no! No! Okay, fair enough. I'll take eight. I went to taco time for the first time in my wife, uh, in my life. <laughs> this is phrasing. I was because two stories got intermingled there because I was at the mall buying a birthday gift for my wife and while I was there I was like oh shit bachelor food court I can get whatever I want from the food court it's not like listen you could phrase this in the in the least sigma way possible whatever my wife is going to get from the food court I would say 90% of the time I go, yeah, I'll just get that too. Because I don't want to wait in two separate lines, get two transactions on my credit card statement, and then like have to meet up at maybe like different, or, or walk through the whole food court trying to figure out where she sat down. Like it's just easier that way. So I will, I'll, I'll just get whatever she wants to get. So usually if we're at the mall food court, we get like a a jugo juice or something like that or we'll get a some a and w but i was like oh i'm in charge of my own destiny today i'm gonna go to taco time i had a, a marinated chicken taco salad i actually i was listen i would not say that it's like the craziest uh, like most delicious mexican food i've ever eaten in my life but it was a lot better than i expected
I, I left impressed. I left saying that, that I if I had to, I would eat it at a taco time again. I thought it was like poison, but it was actually pretty good. Taco salad's inherently mid. Yeah, I was at the mall food court. That's where mid food thrives. I mean, like what we're talking, there's a, there's a taco time. There's like a Thai express. I've eaten at that Thai express before and it's just slap in the face. I would never. There's a, a Chinese food restaurant that gave my wife food poisoning at the height of COVID insanity. So we had to drive like with her and our three month old infant to North Vancouver to the only urgent care that was open. Uh, she got a COVID test, even though she was like, I'm throwing up. They're like, it's probably COVID. And then like three hours later, they're like, oh, it's not COVID. You're like, yeah, I know. Now, okay, so there is a, um, there's Chachi's, this, the Vancouver sandwich restaurant, at least I think it's Vancouver. It's, um, that place is okay. Don't get me wrong, I, I, but I, because I go there that often, I said, no, I'm going someplace else. There's New York fries. I'm not 17 years old, so like I'm not, I'm not going to New York fries at the mall. Like it's just, I've aged out of it. I really care for you, honestly. Give me something to define my run. And by define, I mean make it exactly the same as our last one. Huh? Okay. Chachi's is fine if a little overpriced. So I'm gonna use you as a conduit to put society on blast. I'm sick of hearing how restaurants are overpriced. Because no, I don't think there's been... The, the number of resta restaurants that get labeled as overpriced versus cheap is actually like 95 to 5. So if it's overpriced, then fucking stop eating there. I'm sick of hearing about how I was forced to buy a $12 sandwich, but actually I wish sandwiches were 10 20 Go to a place where sandwiches are 10 20 then. Uh, they don't exist anymore. Then the restaurant's not overpriced. The restaurant is market priced. And, but it's priced you out. So it's, like, it's not that the restaurant is, at, is like, oh, how am I going to like bend this customer over? Is that all the, if all the restaurants are overpriced, then the market is overpriced and it's not the restaurant's fault. I would accept that, oh, this restaurant is overpriced if I didn't hear it about 85% of the restaurants on the market. It is overpriced, though. It's not overpriced. You just <laughs> don't want to pay for it or can't pay for it. Because if it's, if it's priced where it's priced and it's open and it's thriving, then that shit is not overpriced. It's appropriately priced. It's overpriced for the value I received. Then don't go there. If you stop going there, maybe they'll go out of business and a cheaper restaurant will take their place. And definitely don't tip. Tell that to my $16 Chipotle. This would, honestly, Chipotle is like the catalyst for this. So many people were like, uh... I, I'm so sick of Chipotle steak burrito bowl. It keeps going up. It goes up like $1.50 a year. Okay, fucking stop buying it then. I also wish that it was cheaper. I, I'll tell you, I had my Chipotle moment. I went to order some Chipotle and I was like, I'm not paying $14 for a burrito. Are you insane? And then I've never been back. Instead, my ass is buying $22 salad bowls, and they have the audacity to ask me afterwards, hey, do you want to tweet for free about how you got this salad bowl? And I'm like, absolutely not. If you take a dollar off my bill, then we'll start talking. But for free, I mean, you, you, I'd have to be the stupidest idiot on the planet. Okay, I'm going to try to go a little crazy mode here. Crazy mode confirmed. So 
So now a $14 burrito is overpriced? Yeah, so I don't go there. So is it, I mean, is it overpriced? Sure. Does it affect me? No, because I simply say to myself, I'd, ra I'd rather starve. What do you eat? I had two slices of bread with hummus, a, b a banana, an apple, and a clementine for breakfast this morning. My ass be buying groceries. Okay, level me. Is Subway overpriced? Well, it, okay. I'm starting to understand where we, we come to conflict here. It's obviously overpriced. That much is like, it's, it's not even debate. Don't buff this guy. Thank you so much. It's not even debatable. At least, what, what you get in Subway, the price is not the ingredients or the taste. Which is probably not what you want to hear if you're running a so-called restaurant. <laughs> That's like a... It's like a $7 sandwich that costs $12. So there's a $5 convenience charge for going to Subway. So the sandwich is certainly overpriced. That, that much is not even up for debate. The experience is also overpriced. But I would never be like, oh, I hate Subway. It's overpriced. Because if, if I found it too overpriced, I simply would not consume their food. But what I do instead is consume their food, I don't know, maybe like twice monthly. Billy, Billy. You just said it's overpriced? Well, that's because I'm trying to, like, kowtow to you rather than... I don't think it's overpriced. They just show... They flip the interact machine around and I just tap my card before I even look at the decimal points. But, like, on an objective level, is it overpriced? Yeah, probably. They're, like, eight bucks? They're not eight. But, I, listen... You're back in the $5 foot long era, unfortunately. Subway sandwich, and if you gotta, if there's a CAD to USD as well. I would say the average foot long, unless you're getting like ham, we're talking it's like in the $12 zone. And then if you're adding on top of that, uh, you know, a, a drink and the. Uh, and uh, listen, the other thing I don't respect about Subway, after COVID, well, during COVID, they shut down the fountain drinks so they only had bottle drinks available which is like my it, uh, we've been talking about it a lot i don't really mind security theater until it starts to affect the bottom line so like the, with the fountain drinks were part of the they were baked into the combo price it was like the lowest possible price that you could get for the combo was with the fountain drink then they said we can't run fountain drinks because everyone's gonna get covid you have to instead put your hand on this handle slide open a fridge that everybody else is sliding open with their bare hands and grab a bottle out of the fridge the bottle's like 35 percent more expensive and then now they're like there's no covid restrictions but they didn't bring the fountain back Now that shit, it's like a, they raise their prices, but then also there's like a permanent raise of the price floor. Okay, you have to go. You have to be on the squad. Lettuce can pop next round. Should have frozen a cucumber. Should, or should have just purchased the cucumber. Okay, you can... We'll probably, if I had to guess... We'll probably go down to 1 HP. But I think that the buffalo has a chance to get us out of there. It's almost like it's overpriced. Listen, do you want to own me? Or do you want to have like a conversation where we learn something about the world? Because what I'm not trying to... It, it depends on the concept of, of... What do you mean when you say overpriced? Is it too expensive for what it's worth? Then yeah, probably like half the shit in the world is overpriced. Because like... People are like, why would I buy this thing at this restaurant when I could buy the ingredients at the grocery store for less? Well, because the person that's running the restaurant, like that's their fucking job. So you need to pay more for the ingredients because you also need to pay the people that are running the restaurant to be able to buy their own shit to run their own life. Like when whatever you're doing in your own life right now, okay, well, listen, that's probably not true. I was going to say that you're probably 
overpriced as well. But like everything is by definition overpriced in this sense. The fact that you could, that, like the only things that are not overpriced is when you buy like 10,000 paper clips on AliExpress. You're like, holy shit, if I had to make my own paper clip, I don't even know. It would probably take me like $50 of, of labor and seven cents of iron pellets to get it done, right? Or Uline or something like, exactly. So I say everything else, like you ever go get a massage or something like that? A massage could be like a hundred bucks an hour. For what? You're literally paying for nothing. You're paying for touch. Why don't you just touch your own body? It's because you're paying for the... When you overpay for things within your community, your community has more money. The more money flows around your community, your community gets nicer. Everyone's happier. Less people are cutting each other off on the road. They're, it's, uh, they're waving to each other. They're saying, have a nice day. They're saying, they, they've got one thing. A shopping cart is in front of them. The person with the shopping cart says, you go ahead, you go ahead, because I've got a full cart. You've got one thing. It just makes the, the whole world more pleasant. I think it's, I guess what I'm trying to say is I hate sauerkraut. No, what I'm trying to say is I think it's, it, it doesn't feel good to overpay at like an international chain. It feels good to overpay at a local restaurant. Like when you overpay at a subway, you're like, I'm a piece of crap. But when you overpay at like Bill's Cafe, and you're like, oh, a coffee really shouldn't be like 485, it should really be 460. You're like, whatever, man, that's Bill. I don't, I don't want Bill's Coffee Shop to be replaced by a Tim Hortons. Again, I have to be honest with myself, because if I let chat drive the conversation, and I know you're not going to want to hear this, did I not purchase this salad? The, the, the lettuce is not purchasable. The lettuce is frozen and I can't do anything with it. Um, they, they just want to argue and say like, oh, five seconds ago when you were trying to make me laugh, you said something that was uh, dishonest. And now you're saying something that disagrees with that. So like, what gives with that? Well, that's because I was in a fucking fugue state when I was ranting about the mall food court, okay? No tier fives? Can I just, I just let it on and freeze it is the thing. I guess, you know what I can do is I can return the menu and then load it back up. The, we don't have any, oh, we're, I see the problem. I see what I did there. Give me some chocolate as recompense. It's okay. What I'm trying to say is I feel like I, when people say a restaurant is overpriced, I discount it a little bit. The main reason I discount it is because it's the most common complaint I hear about restaurants. That's the, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to say that no rest, I was, I, I'm guilty, if of anything, I'm guilty of trying to concoct a bit, which is that if every restaurant is overpriced, then that's not, then the market is overpriced, so your ass should be eaten at home, which is fine. You may, you may agree or you may disagree. But I feel like also, because I'm guilty of this as well, in my head, I, when I started buying my own meals, I anchored at like, that's what food costs. So the idea that like going out for a lunch and that like the, the menu is like, what the hell, $14.99 for lunch? Those are dinner prices. Like that's crazy. But I got to recognize, you know, this is in 2007 in you know, like mid-urban Ontario, like I can't go out for lunch and, and get like a, a, an entree, a main and a side for $6.99 Canadian anymore. Like we gotta, we've, we've moved past. There's different types of overpriced. I think that's fair. Well, like Subway is overpriced because you get nothing except calories for the food, or <laughs> for the price, I should say. <laughs> That's, and that hurts the most. At least when you go to a local place and it's expensive, you're like, I'm adding to the culture of my neighborhood. At least the people at this business are probably making a fair wage. It's not just uh, going straight to the franchiser. This could be the turning point here, or it could be the end. 
You do that, but honestly, you're probably not helping much. Oh, do you run the local businesses in my community? Or are you, are you merely a chatter? Answer me. Answer me, Billy Billy. You paid $22 for a salad? I actually, again, this was for the bit. You're, you guys are in, you know, you know how I talk about how you can optimize your life in like a few different ways? And especially when it comes to games, I, am, I get annoyed that people optimize their fun out. They're like, yeah, the game's fun, but if I wanted to win, what I would do is never run the fun build and I would just exclusively take the Groza every time. And then every time I come third, instead of being like, Pog, I'm in third, you go, oh, I should have been in first, but they had the Groza with the angled foregrip and I had the straight foregrip and the bro had a bison with a lemon, so what am I supposed to do about it? So literally, like, I'm out here making jokes and you're like, there's some cognitive dissonance with these jokes. Okay, get ready for every other stream you've ever seen on Twitch. I really like to purchase a lemon now, but I don't know if the lemon's really appropriate for anybody. Hey, thanks Beardy Ginger for the gifted subscriptions. I helped you through some hard times. Yeah, I am, I'd say I'm pretty special. Like I'm out here grinding every single day with my 25 hour work week. Like I'm doing, I'm doing the best that I can. I'm gonna put a lemon on a skunk. I know a lot of people are probably gonna be annoyed with that. They're gonna say the carrot had like a lot of upside. And maybe you're right. I'd love, if you think that the carrot would have been better, make sure to leave a comment. I'd love to see it. Melon's pretty good. And then you know what? I'm not gonna buy a croissant. I think I'd rather just roll for some chocolate. Hold on, my food's here. So, oh, what did I miss? Oh, I won. I didn't even know what was happening. Man, this food is so good. I don't have anything to crinkle. Oh, banana. I've got a banana from DoorDash. Well, eight bucks? Yeah, no big deal. Thanks for the subscriptions, guys. So I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to threaten you and say, like, well, be careful what you wish for because that's gonna, what the stream's going to become. For whatever reason, that's not in my nature. Um, so you should just, like, leave and watch a more... A less cognitively dissonant streamer. And and I wish you the best, honestly. I wish you happiness and contentedness, quite frankly. I have not, nothing but respect for my boys in purple. No. Hold on, we're still living? No, we're not! Yes, we are! One of these, one of these. We have to dump a level one clownfish. Like this is getting ridiculous. I find it hard to believe that a level one clownfish is gonna get the job done for us. But then if we don't need the clownfish, we don't need the blobfish. And then the, then the whole system starts to unravel. <sighs> Listen. I don't think that... It, 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 it's not a move that I'm making under the veil of the idea that this is going to save us, okay? This is more of a... <laughs> it just happened to be the, the unit that was in the shop. No, it's another wolf. No! Alright, well, fair enough. Six wins on a, on a dissociated run? I would take that. <laughs>